Hey guys, so I probably look really weird right now. It's because I'm not wearing any mascara because I'm going to be trying out this really Instagram famous, I guess you could say, product. And this is the Unique 3D Fiber Lash. And this is raved about so much on Instagram. And so I really want to try it out myself because lately I have been feeling like my eyelashes have been looking a little short. And I'm pretty sure you guys want to see how it looks so maybe you can uh, purchase it yourself if you like it. And so this is what it comes with. It comes with a transplanting gel and fibers. And as you can see for the packaging, it's like a sunglass case. Ow. <laughs> it's like a sunglasses case. And then you open it up and it has the two products right here and they just have the little, you know, holders. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to go ahead and try this out. And the mascara that I'm going to be using with it, because you have to put a coat of your own mascara on, I'm going to be using the Rocket by Maybelline because this is one of my favorite mascaras. And so yeah, let's just get on into the video. So this is a really uncomfortable shot, but... Yeah, I'm just going to start off by just curling my eyelashes. So I'm just going to apply that Maybelline mascara to the front and back of my eyelashes. And that is just one coat of the Rocket. It's pretty nice, huh? Okay, so that is both eyes with just one coat of the Maybelline mascara. And so... The first step is to apply an even coat of the transplanting gel and it says that you can apply your own mascara before and immediately before it has time to dry, apply the natural fibers to the lashes and then seal the natural fibers with another coat of transplanting gel. It says only do one lash at a time, or one eye at a time, not one lash, that would take a really long time. Uh, one eye at a time and use a comb slash brow brush to separate the lashes. Apply additional coats of 3D fiber lashes as desired and brush off any excess natural fibers that have fallen onto your cheeks. Alright, so pretty much just go back and forth between the fibers and the gel. That's it. I can definitely see the little fluffies catching onto the tips of my eyelashes. Kinda looks weird right now. Look at that. Looks weird. Okay, and then I'm gonna right away put the transplanting gel on. So, I don't know if you guys can tell a difference, um, I definitely can notice a little bit of a difference. They do look longer. It doesn't look crazy longer compared to the side. I don't know, you guys tell me. So, I'm gonna go ahead and try one more coat to see if I could get it a lot thicker and voluminous. Seems like the transplanting gel isn't like... I mean, I thought it was just like a mascara, but it seems a lot lighter than that. It doesn't distribute a ton of product. It doesn't make them all clumpy. Which I was expect—I was expecting really clumpy lashes with this, but I don't mind clumpy lashes. Honestly, like I, I like them, and my lashes have never looked this long and separated before, so that's really crazy to me. Oh, I'm definitely putting on a lot more fibers this time. I can tell it looks like spider legs. Then I'm going to go back in with the transplanting gel one more time. Man, I don't know how my eyelashes are staying so separated. They are never like this. Okay, so that's how that looks. I can definitely start to see a difference, especially with this one eyelash. I can tell it does build a lot of length and volume. It looks really cool, honestly. I really like it. So because I like crazy, long, fluffy lashes, I'm going to go in with one more coat. You guys might think I'm crazy, but I'm just going to.
Okay, now it's beginning a little bit, getting to be a little bit ridiculous. Um, I can see like the fibers kind of stretch out to try and make the lashes seem longer, but it's making some lashes look way longer than the other one, so it's a little interesting. Okay, that one looks just way too long. I'm gonna pick the end off of it. There we go, that looks better. So yeah, that's how it looks. Um, honestly, I would wear this every day. I'm that kind of, I'm that kind of, I'm that type of person that I absolutely love, like ginormous lashes. I don't care if they're clumpy. And really, I mean, with this Maybelline, oh, I just threw it at myself. I guess I'm really excited. Okay, well, if you watch my uh, mascara routine, it's not very recent. It was from a little while ago. I do sometimes use that mascara routine, and it gets around the same length of this, but nowhere near the same separation. I feel like this is really, you know, if you use a good base, you know, to get them nice and separated, it won't clump them up. And yeah, you're going to have to go in a little bit probably to separate maybe if you don't like super clumpy. And I, this is a third coat, so you guys don't have to do three coats. You can always stop at like one or two coats. But yeah, compared to the side that only has one coat of mascara, it, it's it's a pretty big difference, and I'm I'm really happy I bought it. it I really like the results of it, and it, yeah, most people say, you know, can use it for special occasions. I'm probably gonna be that weird person that wears it every day, but I really like it. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just for the sake of the camera, I'm just going to try it on the lower lashes. I'm not gonna do three coats because that's a little ridiculous, but I'm gonna do one coat. Okay, where did I throw that mask? Well, because I can't find it, I'm going to use my other holy grail for the lower lashes. And this is the Rimmel Glam Eyes. You can't even see the name whatsoever because I've used it so many times and it's just rubbed off. So I'm going to go ahead and just apply that to both lower lashes. So yeah, that's how it looks on the lower lashes, and as you can see, it, I don't think it's too much at all. I applied really small amount of both of the products, and I really, really like it. So I completely love this product. I really recommend it for you guys, and unless you don't like spidery long lashes, if you're a huge clump fanatic, then you won't like them. You won't like the mascara, I don't think. But yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this first impression. And I'll see you guys next time. Okay. Bye.